All right, there it is. This is the Langmuir arc flat system. Langmuir Systems arc flat table. Uh, right now, I think, I don't know if today is the last day or yesterday was the last day. It was buy three, get one free. So um, my intent is to put three here as my main fabrication table and then have one that I'm going to use, put it on wheels and use it to roll around the garage as a kind of a portable welding table. And maybe one day it'll go out to my big building. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm impressed well, for the money. It's pretty good. It's not a fireball tool table by any means, but Fireball tool table is probably close to ten grand. This is two grand. So good deal. I'm I'm excited to get to using it. And hopefully the quality of my fabrication jobs will improve along with it. And while I was waiting on the last set of legs and the epoxy, <clears throat> I went ahead and made some fixtures and some things they use along with the table with these alignment pegs so you can uh, either put them as a backstop on one side of a project or put them on one side and the third side and you theoretically should be perfectly square. Yeah. And then last night, as I was falling asleep, I came up with this. We've got the one, two, three blocks that these are just the cheap shards one off of eBay. I bought some cold rolled five eighths shaft, turned it down to three eighths on this one end and put cut some threads on it. These one, two, three blocks. Have threaded holes, so I've got that for stops also. So you put them like that, you've got exactly one inch between them. I think it's an inch and a half this way, and then two when you put them there. So um, a few possibilities. Use them to space test stuff up. Um, I don't know. I'll continue to build um, jigs and fixture pieces as I need them. But I thought this was a good start to get going. All right, first thoughts on the legs. They're pretty lightweight. I don't know, they're probably 16 gauge steel. They are, they've got, I don't know if they got adjuster feet, I guess. Um, I think that top plate was probably quarter inch. I think Langmuir, Langmuir should just offer this top plate the top plate of the legs with the threaded holes and the screws as a kit so that people could make their own legs because I think everybody would make heavier duty legs they could have and then they could weld their cross braces and bottom shelf and all that on would be a nice offering. That way you're not paying for shipping of heavy legs. You could just go to your steel supplier and buy a, a stick, a quarter wall, 
three by three square tubing. At least I'm assuming that that's three by three. Yeah. That's three by three tubing. So I think that's probably what I would have done if I could have bought that the top plates that attach, that attach to the tables. Just by those and the screws, I would have went to the the steel my steel supplier and, and just bought a stick of three by three quarter wall or three sixteen or something. So yeah. I like the the flush mount screws or below flush screws. So I'll keep unpacking and maybe stop and show you a few details along the way. Yeah, so the packaging is really good. Got real thick cardboard on all the corners. Double box. Nice foam padding. And then they oiled the top and covered it in black. So it's, it's real greasy, but it's not rusty. That would be a bummer if it showed up rusty. Wipe some of this oil off so I don't get covered in it. Yeah, it wipes off pretty easy. Can see, I mean, it's got tooling marks in it. Probably this one's two way marks or a little more than the first one I unboxed. They are heavy. I suppose they're, I think the shipping weight is 150 pound a piece. And they're awkward. I hope I don't drop one and break one. Ugh. All right, this is probably a good time to take a look at these bolts. So these, this is the bolts that came with it. Let's see what they call these. Precision bolt kit. Comes with the QR code instructions. What they are, threaded bolt on both sides. It's got an O-ring, two O-ring channels, and then it's ported here and here. So you put that bolt in there, nut on this side, nut on this side, and then you can pump epoxy in there to shim it. I don't know if it came, yeah. Got the bag for the O-rings and 
tubing pump the epoxy in. So I'll put a couple of O-rings on here. I bought two bolt kits because I'm going to go three tables wide. Have a six foot by three foot table. Hopefully I can talk them into sending me another table and I will have a three foot by eight foot table, which would be sweet. And if you go buy one right, the kit right now, you can get, you can get that deal. Wondering if I should have got temporary bolt assembly. Put these in later. I better watch the instructions so I don't tell everybody how to do this wrong. All right, according to the instructions here, I should be putting the bolts the outside bays here and then here so I'm gonna assemble these and get it so it's a little more stable In reality, these bolts probably aren't that much more than just regular bolts from the hardware store. If you were to buy grade eight bolts, eat by each, they're probably about the same kind of money. So, may as well just order them. Even if you don't use the epoxy, they're probably just as good, but pretty slick system. So far, anyway, that's what I think. We'll see after I put the epoxy in if I still am thinking they're the way to go. But they put a lot of thought into how to attach these tables together. So that's pretty neat. There it is, three feet by six feet. I'm pretty excited about that. Only thing I don't know is how many people it's gonna take to stand up. I have to get my brother and maybe a friend over here to help me stand it. Do that tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm ready to bolt or put the liquid shim in these bolts that came with the Langmuir Systems arc flat table. I put straight edges on and clamped them like they tell you to in the instructions. And I could still feel the joint between the two tables sliding a one, two, three block across there. So I took and put 
the clamp on the low side table, put a one, two, three block underneath there, and bolted it down in four, or clamped it down in four spots. So now you cannot feel the joint anywhere. So, and this is the epoxy I'm going to go with, this DevCon, because it comes with the mixing straws. It's four metal, it's got 1500 PSI strength, whatever that means. But in my mind, it just needs something as a filler. It's not really bonding anything. They recommend using this JV Weld quick set steel reinforced. I think 50176 is the actual part numbers in the instructions. And then you have to buy the mixing straw separate. Well, nobody in town stocks the mixing straws separate, so I'm gonna go with these. I've got everything clamped and good to go. I'm gonna inject this epoxy. I'll bring you down and underneath with me when I'm injecting it and see, see how it goes. Came with these straws or tubing to inject it, but I think the nipples on these are going to be small enough to go right into the bolt, so we'll see what happens. Okay, this is what comes in the kit. It's a stud, a nut, or two nuts, and you can see those little holes there between these O-rings. So that will be between two tables and then it's got that port there to inject the epoxy in. So I'm gonna give it a shot. They tell you to get it straight, hand tighten the nuts, inject it with epoxy, let it dry, and then tighten it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Got the, got the tube they sent with the bolt kit onto the mixing straw. So we'll see how far this gets us. Not a lot of epoxy in these little tubes. I'm going to waste a lot. Gonna be difficult to know if we're getting anything. I don't know, it's not taking. Not taking any so. Back it off and put it on the next one. Well, that one's definitely taking some epoxy. Squirt her in there until I see some somewhere or what? Alright, done 